Hi parents, I just wanted to take a minute and talk to you about journaling with your preschooler. Journaling is a great way to get the kids to get into art a little bit. Not all kids like to sit down and draw and color and there's nothing wrong with that. It's not for everybody right away, but obviously there's a lot of value to it. So it's something that we try to encourage. It helps them build their fine motor skills, helps them to understand what they're thinking can be represented on paper. And as you write down what they tell you about what they what you see and what they've drawn, it helps them understand that words have meaning and that they're empowered by telling you what those words are. It's also very empowering for them to be able to be their own author and illustrator of their own book. It's very exciting to be able to take ownership to that. When you journal with your child, you have some options. You certainly don't need to say, how are you feeling today? And have them write that down. When we journal at school, what we typically do is stick with a theme that we're talking about. Um, what we have at school, last year we were using these little journals that again are from the Target Dollar Spot, wonderful place. But again, they're probably gone because they've moved on to Halloween already. It's just blank pages, no lines, which is perfect for preschool age. They can just draw and they can create. And then, as I said, when they're done, ask them about their picture, ask them about their drawing. Even if it's just a green line across the middle of the page, ask them what they were going for and then write down exactly what they say. It can be the most entertaining thing in the world to quote your child from start to finish. Also, I recommend putting a date on there because you never, you always think you're going to remember that time and that moment, but I always personally forget. So write the date on there and then you'll have after a while, a collection of their work all together, not scattered around the house, but in one place. Now, like I said, this is going to be a hard thing to find right now, and that's fine. I'm going to do another video where the kids get to make their own journal. So if you have some colored paper that can be the cover and the back, and then just some blank paper to go inside, we'll be making our own journals together. And then we'll be doing different things throughout our time together online where they can actually write inside their journals. Now, if you want them to do writing, if they're a little on the older side and you want them to write their name on the page, that is fantastic. If they're ready, let them go for it. Let them do it. The one thing that I would remind you is that when they're writing their names, they should start with an uppercase letter and then the rest are lowercase. Now, I have been preaching that for about 15, 16 years in parent-teacher conferences. And then the summer, I came across this little gem. This was from my children back in 1997 when they were what they were even just two and one when this picture was drawn. So they're little handprints. And then, of course, I wrote their names and look at how I did it. All uppercase. I don't know why we do that. We don't write our own names like that. But when we work with our children, that's what we do. So I guess the lesson is don't be a Miss Jill. Make sure that when you're writing their names with them, you use upper and then lower. So. Um, as I said, there'll be a video coming up with the kids where we're going to read a story and then make a journal together.